This is a short instructional video on how you register for iLearn. The iLearn Thursday schedule looks like this. Students remain in their home room for the reading block from 8.45 to 9.17, where they read their LA reading books. Then they will go through three different sessions in the morning, one, two, and three, during the times shown here in the chart. Where do you register for iLearn? You go to www.powerschool.ecsd.net. Once you log into PowerSchool, your home screen should look like this. Along the left-hand side, you'll want to select Flex Session, as shown. When you've selected Flex Session, it'll take you to your registration screen. Here, you'll select Search. No need to put in any information in the blanks provided. Just hit Search. That will bring up a list of available sessions offered for the upcoming iLearn. Let's take a closer look at the information in the list of sessions. The first part of information you'll find is the date of the iLearn session. Next, you'll see which block and room the session is offered. The title of the session, the teacher offering the session, and you'll find the status of the session. If it's a green door, the session's open. If it's a yellow door, the session's almost full. If it's a red door, the session is full. The next column shows your registration for the sessions. When registration opens, you will have two options, register or drop registration. Right now it says registration closed because registration is not open. When registration opens, you'll click register to register for your session. The final column is view where you can go to view a description of the session offered. When you click on view, a small box will pop up and it will show the description of that session. Registration for iLearn opens the Friday before the iLearn at 5 p.m. and closes the Monday before the iLearn at 9 p.m. So for example, September 23rd is an iLearn Thursday, so registration opens Friday, September 17th at 5 p.m. and closes Monday, September 20th at 9 p.m. If you have any questions, feel free to ask your homeroom teacher for help.